Nitrogen immobilization occurs when you add high sources of carbon like the pine shavings from my chicken coop to the soil. And when this gets mixed into the bulk of the soil profile, the microorganisms in the soil have to scavenge and utilize the plant available form of nitrogen in its inorganic form as fuel, adds energy to help break down this high source of carbon, these pine shavings. We don't want that to happen because then there's going to be a delay in the amount of inorganic plant available nitrogen available for my pear tree here, okay? So this is going to stunt growth and stunt performance. So to prevent this from happening, to prevent nitrogen immobilization, that's why we compost our poultry bedding, our pine shavings, because compost finished product has a more carbon to nitrogen neutral rating, okay? And furthermore, as I explained in another video, if you apply wood chips as mulch to the top of the soil, it's a good idea to first apply a nitrogen-based fertilizer to help prevent nitrogen immobilization. Now, nitrogen immobilization mainly occurs if you incorporate this high source of carbon organic material into the bulk of the soil profile. So if I spread this around and then I till it into the soil, now it's gonna be all throughout the soil profile and that's when the microorganisms are really going to scavenge the plant available nitrogen to try to break this down. If you're just applying high sources of carbon as mulch to the top of the soil, like in my blueberry row, nitrogen immobilization is not going to occur as much as if you incorporate your high carbon material into the base of the soil profile. However, it is still a great idea when you add high sources of carbon like wood chips as mulch put down a little bit of nitrogen fertilizer. Thanks for tuning in to Farmer Pat's YouTube and Instagram channel.